So how long have you been selling for? Three years? Come here, come up here, buddy. Come on, how many cars do you average a month? Okay, cool, 10, 15. Jake, I pull up in the lot, come shake my hand. Yep, get him up here, come here, I want you. Do we want him to grow or stay the same? But watch, could you sell three cars a day, yes or no? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do, by the way, Three cars a day, if you did three a day, times 500, that's 15 a day. Remember we said 130, 260, now we're at 390. You can make $400,000 a year at a low average commission of 500 a car and take a third of the year off in the car business. Covering all expenses, you didn't have to rent your building, you didn't have to pay interest on the cars, you didn't have to pay for advertising to get them in. Everybody do me a favor. How many of you guys in here want to be an entrepreneur? Raise your hand. Hold on. Well, okay, but this is funny, because watch. No, 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 no. I see a lot of people raise their hands because everybody says they want to be an entrepreneur. So everybody do me a favor. Write this down, because I want to explain this. Intrapreneur or entrepreneur, okay? And then write down intrapreneur. I want to explain what you probably really want to do and they're probably confused with. So an entrepreneur has to pay for the building, they got to pay for the interest, they got to pay for the cars, they got to pay for the advertising, they got to pay to clean the building, they got to pay for the janitors, they got to pay for everything. You feel me? And then after everything is sold and you pay all the people that work for you and all the expenses and you take the liability, you take the risks, you take the lawsuits, you take it all. Then you get to see what's left. And a lot of the time there's nothing. But you know what you do? You get your name on the sign. You know what? Everybody write this down. I own my own business. You, every one of you, you own your own business. Those are my cars. This is my freaking lot. This is my building. That's my phone. This is my business. You guys need to take ownership and quit acting like an employee. This is your business. And the reason why I made so much damn money selling is because that was my freaking business. If that was your business, would you work harder right now than how you're currently working for as you're working for? Yes, it's a mindset shift. Do this. Just switch your damn mind. You don't really want to own your own business. Dude, if you had to own your own business, you'd probably be bankrupt tomorrow. Most of us would. I didn't want to own my own business. If I worked for Napleton when I was younger, I promise you, I'd have made a million a year selling cars, I'd have worked a third, two thirds of the year, I'd have seen my family, I'd have had a great life. When, when I was at work, I'd have been where my feet are, and when I'd gone home, by the way, if you're the top salesman, you make all the money, you, you leave when you want. They're not gonna mess with you, they'll let you take off all you want. They don't like you to leave, because you're so good, but they'll let you leave. You wanna take three vacations a year? Could every person in this room do this, yes or no? Yes. This is how a movement gets started in a company, okay? Does everybody in this room, is there anybody in this room doesn't, that doesn't feel something cr like starting to burn inside of them? Mm -hmm. Where you're like, you know what? This is my next level. This is my wake up call. Do you feel it? Okay, so here's what we do. Number one, we're gonna learn how to sell. That's the most important thing. The work ethic has to be there. If the work ethic isn't there, we're screwed. Hey guys, we'll get back to the video in a sec. If you're watching this video because you want to level up in life and business, then one thing you got to do is optimize your sleep. One in three people worldwide reported not getting enough good sleep every night. A big part of the why? Mouth breathing. Luckily for you, our sponsor Hostage Tape is your best friend when it comes to sleeping. If you're like me, you've probably also struggled with everything from insomnia, dry mouth, restlessness, snoring, headaches, sore throat, and even waking up with mental fog and grogginess because of mouth breathing by sleeping and didn't even know it. Poor sleep affects essentially every area of your health, wealth, and happiness. With hostage tape, you simply peel off a piece of breathable fabric, place it over your mouth before bed, and voila, several hours later, you wake up feeling refreshed and energized. If you're ready to feel focused, clear-minded, and energized, go visit hostagetape.com backslash Elliot and get yours today. Thanks to Hostage Tape for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the show. We got to learn how to sell. So how long have you been selling for? Three years. Three years? Come here. Come up here, buddy. Come on. All right, cool. We're going to have fun. What's your name? Jake. Jake, what store do you sell at? Uh, Toyota Brookfield. Good. How many cars do you average a month? 10, 15. Okay, cool, 10, 15. Jake, I pull up in the lot, come shake my hand. Everybody, I want you to get, you gotta be loud enough, because remember this, you're performing for everybody in here. <clears throat> Welcome to Trader Brookfield, what brings you in today? Um, I was just gonna check out some vehicles. Okay, do you have any vehicles in mind, or do you want me to show you around? Uh, I guess I, I'm just gonna just walk around. Okay, follow me. Okay, did you get my name? Absolutely not, my name is, I'm yours. 
Okay, hold on, hold on. But why did you not do it? Did you usually get people's name? Yeah. Why didn't you do it? Let me tell you why he didn't do it. By the way, what's your name one more time? Jake. Okay, Jake, how many hours a day or how many minutes a day do you spend practicing shaking somebody's hand? None. You shake people's hand when they pull up, which means we're practicing on our customers. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, Jake can have two perspectives right now. One perspective is this. Hey, dude, I ain't got time to shake people's hands, okay? I'm there to sell cars. <laughs> okay, that's the reason why he's not selling 50 like my man over there. Does that make sense? Okay, when you go and shake someone's hand, you're going to look at them in the eye, okay? What's the first thing you're always going to get? Their name. Their name. You're always going to get their name. Why would you get their name? By the way, if you don't know exactly what you say when you shake someone's hand, then every time you're saying something different. This is why salespeople suck. They're not consistent. They close deals differently every time. They literally overcome objections every time. They're professional wingers. They wing everything. Does that make sense? Okay. Watch this. I'm going to come up and shake his hand. Hope you're having the best day of your life. My name's Andy. What's your name, sir? Jake. Jake. What did I just tell him? I said, I hope you're having the best. I'm walking out to him. I say, how you doing? Hope you're having the best day of your life. I'm Andy Elliott. What's My your name? Al. Nice meeting you. Al, Al, nice to meet you. Al, are you here for sales or service? I'm here for sales. Get out of here, man. Well, by the way, my name's Andy Al. My job today is to give you world-class customer service and take care of you and serve you in all the highest levels that are important to you and your family. It's, all, it's an honor to have you here with me today. I'm grateful. Again, my name's Andy, okay, Al? Al. I really appreciate you. I'm, I'm going to make sure that he don't forget me. Everybody, how many times do you get to, make to have a great first impression? One. Okay, everybody write this down. You ready? You need to write this down. People won't always remember what you said but they'll always remember the way you made them feel. That's it. Watch. What, what do I say? People don't remember what you said, but they'll always remember the way you made them feel. I'm walking up to Al. I see Al, right? I'm like, game time. What am I doing? Guys, road one, step to the cell, Stacy. He's got that pray, that pray drive instinct, but he says, that's my deal, baby. What does he have? A delusional belief. I ain't even shook Al's hand yet, and I know he's already buying a car. Al came by, can buy, came to buy, and will buy, as long as I do my job. I'm taking Al down. Al could be in a million places today, but he's here with me. So number one, Al, I'm going to have a delusional belief that Al's here to buy. But watch this. Number two, do you have to have the best attitude in the world? Yes. Do, do you got to have the best attitude? Yes. Okay, you come here. Come here. Guy in the, you got no, right next to you. Who is he? Yep, give him up here. Come here. I want you. Yeah. I want you. Now, by the way, a lot of people think sales training sucks. Guys, sales training is what makes you rich. Yeah. It's what makes you rich. Yeah. You guys think it sucks because inside your head you think something sucks. Dude, can I tell you this? Whatever you put into something is whatever you get out of it. Okay? You want to get rich selling cars? Do sales training. You want to get rich selling real estate? Do sales training. You sell stuff for a living. You freaking sell. You got to be electric. You got to be magnetic. You got to be on fire. You got to make people feel good. Dude, they're going to spend more money than they want. It's always going to be high. Everybody get this out of your brain. It ain't never going to be low. It's always going to be high. You know what that means? You got to be the freaking best. You guys got to be able to swipe the pressure out of the deal all the time. You guys got to be able to take, you guys can be able to make it easy. You got to be a master communicator to people. When you're talking to people, you're just communicating. You want to be a great closer? Great closers are the best communicators. Okay? They're so good. By the way, all of us, closers, once sucked. We sucked. We were the worst. You know what we did? We watched the way other people operated who were better than us, and then we emulated them. We didn't envy. We emulated. We said, I'm going to do that. How did he shake his hand? Like that? Okay, next thing you know, we're like, hey guys, how you doing? We were like dropping the shoulder. We're doing whatever they did. Whatever they did, we did, because we just emulated what they did. And, and within due time, boom, we were right there with them, okay? Automotive people are resilient. And you know what I love about the car business? My favorite thing is that I wear the car badge with honor. I love it, man. I remember being at parties, man, and I had some buddies that would sell cars. We was like, oh, what do you guys do? And they always be like, oh, we're an entrepreneur. I'm like, dude, I'm like, dude, I sell cars, Put a value on your right? I sell cars. I'm in the transportation space. You know the thing that everybody has to have when they're over the age of 16? Yeah, yeah I sell those and slang them like at candy bars. That's me, baby, right? That Lamborghini's mine's out there too, right there. Yeah, that Ferrari, that's mine. 
Yeah, that's mine. That's what you guys can do. That big lifted ass truck, that's mine. That lake house, that's mine. Yeah, that big boat, that's mine. What do you do again? I sell cars. <laughs> I sell cars. You guys, wanna, you guys wanna have this life? You wanna have it? Good, you do have it. The question is, what are you doing to, go after it. Yeah, to, to make it happen? Yep, the hunger, the fire. So today, I have a prayer, and I'm telling you guys, it's to literally to get you guys to wipe the gunk off your freaking eyes and realize, like, damn, like, dude, like, the car business was always easy to make a lot of money, but the great reset happened with COVID, and I'm going to explain why. Everybody forgot. Like, it was, it's like this magical, like, wand that they waved, and everybody that was going out of business got to stay in business and get rich. Everybody that was going, uh, that, that sucked, actually made more money. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, I made three times more money last year. I know you did, but you didn't get three times better. The market was three times better. Now, prices are coming back down. Trade-ins are staying back up. There's going to be this adjustment that's slowly going to fade itself out. My question is, what is the one for sure thing that we can count on? When the customer experience is through the roof, profits stay a premium. When the customer experience is through the roof, the profits will stay a premium. So how can we keep profits through the roof? How can we hold on trades right now more than ever? Skills. How can we, yeah, but skills, that's it. I can look into your eyes and I can tell whether you're ready to work a deal with me. Listen, there's things, there's mindset, right? And then there's little like your skeletal body inside of you, the way that you work, the way that people, it's called your nervous system. You ever work numbers with somebody and tell they're getting nervous? Can you tell? I don't get nervous. You know why I don't get nervous? Because I've trained so many times and been battle tested in front of people that literally I don't get nervous anymore. Who's the person that should give the client courage to say yes today? Me. Me. Okay? It's my job. It's, my, it's not the manager's job. I don't need a manager to come close my deals. For every, every salesperson in here, raise your hand. Okay, keep the hands up. Look around. See all these hands? Do you guys need to be babysat or can you learn to close your own deals? Okay, I'm not telling you, if you can't close a deal, that you don't go and get your manager. I'm not saying that. And I'm not saying there's more money on the table, you don't go get a second face and go get more money. I'm saying your internal fire should be like, dude, no one's going to close my deals. You know why? Not because I'm a prick, not because it's all about me, but because I want to prove to myself that I'm as good as I need to be. I'm going to do this for me and my family. I'm going to fight for my family. I have this opportunity. By the way, experience and education means nothing in the car business. Are you hungry and you want an opportunity? Notice I said hungry. Notice I said hungry. If you're not hungry, you're out. Want an opportunity. What does that mean? Grateful. Okay, grateful. All the crap you have now or, or, or don't have is a lack of your skill or literally can be taken away tomorrow if you don't get it together. So what did this magic wand do? It literally erased everybody's skill. Managers didn't have to manage. Leaders didn't have to lead. Most car dealerships cut off their marketing because as long as they had the vehicle, customers would find it because nobody had inventory. It was this craziest time that we'll never see again. We could tell clients they have to pay anywhere from 10000 to 100000 over sticker and they paid it. And guess what? If they said, oh, I don't, I, I don't know, I'm not paying that. We said, well, listen, Nancy, you just missed the last two you went and looked at, right? Because the second you thought about it, they were gone. And by the way, so if you don't say yes to this one right now, Tom's going to be here in an hour and he's going to take it. I mean, it is what it is, Nancy. But, but realize, Nancy, you're getting an additional 20 or 30% for your trade-in right now, which is never going to happen again, so you might as well do it. It's all the same money. And guess what? She was like, oh, okay, I guess I'll do it. What's this extra 20 grand? That's an addendum. That's because of availability. You're also getting that money back in your trade, and it's all the same, Nancy. Let's do business. Remember, this car is going to be here, and it's going to be gone in an hour. It was the craziest thing. We didn't have to negotiate. We didn't have to do nothing. Customers ended up paying an additional, like, $250 a month over the last year just in car prices going up. But watch. Now things are starting to change. You know what I like? I like that. Some of you are like, damn, man, I can't believe that we need to go back. No, 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 we don't. Because that market, even the losers got to get paid. I want to bankrupt them. The people that don't deserve to deal with your clients need to get out. Listen to me. I'm going to tell you why people say car salesmen suck. Because most of them do. They're not lying. Don't take it personal unless you suck. If you suck and I say car salesmen suck, then you're like, hey, man, why are you saying that? When people say car salesmen suck, I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm cool with that. And I actually like that most of them do suck because when they meet me, they'll never forget me. I like that. Should we know how to shake a hand? Yes. 
Okay, I want to tell you the way that I was taught to shake hands. Okay? All right, I want you to shake my hand. Ready? Go. I'm walking up. Walk up to Al. Shake his hand. Hi, I'm Warburg. Al, nice meeting you. You as well. Go ahead. Keep going. Uh, what brings you in today? Actually, I'm just driving by. So I've seen that uh, uh, Altima. I like it. Ah, that's not my only Altima. I have the biggest selection of Altimas, all in beautiful condition. Let me show them to you. Okay, watch this. Impression, one to ten. No, no, no. I want you guys to understand. Can we all be honest with each other in this room? Okay, some of you are like, I don't want them to not like me. Okay. <laughs> No, no, listen to me. Do we want him to grow or stay the same? Grow. Hope you're having the best day of your life. My name's Andy Elliott. Oh, nice. What did I say to him before I met him? Hope, Hope you're having the best day of your life. My name's Andy Elliott, sir. What's your name? Al. Al, it's a pleasure to meet you. Are you here for sales today or for service? I'm actually here for service. He's here for service. No problem. I can escort you and take you over there. By the way, what brings you in for service? Do you have an appointment or do I need to help you set one? I'm going to go take him right over here. I'm still going to make an impression on him. You know why? My company counts on me to do this, right? By the way, listen to me. What if you get some bad news in service? Hey, Al, just want to let you know, our service department's amazing. By the way, if you need anything, here's my business card. I don't know if you have someone here at our store that you normally deal with. Some people get in there, they see giant bills, cars are expensive, especially when it comes to technology and stuff. You have my card. If you need anything, I just want you to text me. Say, hey, it's Bill over here in service. I'll be over here right away, okay? Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.